What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Sorry for my messy hair, let me just fix this up a little bit. There we go. Um, so, sorry I haven't really been doing a lot of vlogs uh, recently. I know that um, the last vlog I did was probably um, a couple of weeks ago, it will take. Um, the reason why I haven't been vlogging very often is mainly because um, it's dependent on um, me using my webcam. Like I am now, as you can see behind me, this is obviously my bedroom. Um, I can't use my phone because I don't have a front-facing camera. Um, the front there, as you can see, there's no front-facing camera. There's only a back camera. It's a wall crown holding the phone. Uh, let me get some shot. Holding the phone like this, uh, it's pretty awkward because I can't see myself um, on the screen. Um, but that is about to change. Uh, I am getting an upgrade uh, on the 25th. Um, I have, um, it's a, this is not a new phone, it's a second hand phone that I'm buying. Um, but it's got a front facing camera as well as a back facing camera. So I can start doing vlogs more frequently. Um, so yeah, um, the other thing I wanted to do is that this month is the month of uh, Movember. Um, Movember is basically the month where you, where us guys anyway, we um, grow moustaches to show our support for um, uh, for cancer in men and um, so uh, as you can see I'm growing a moustache I don't know if you can see it very well it's, it's still very thin it's not as dark as what my goatee is here but if I come closer you can see it here a little bit um, so yeah you can go over to the Movember website I'll put the link down below it's uh, movember.com go sign up you can sign up a team you can run uh, fundraising charities Anything of that kind, anything of that sort, just basically to bring awareness to, uh, for to cancer in men and men's health in general. So that's it. Um, November runs typically from the first of Mo first of November to the thirtieth. Uh, the first of November being you have to be cleanly shaved. Um, you have to be cleanly shaven. And you throughout the whole month you grow your moustache. You can groom it. Um, there are a couple different um, sort of like styles and what have you that you can use. Uh, if you go to the website, they've got a style guide, and you can download it in a PDF format. So you can have a look. Um, yeah, and then it ends on the thirtieth. Then you can shave it on the thirtieth. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people just keep growing it anyway. It's like I did, I did last year when I took part in it, um, I grew the, I did my moustache, the barker handles, uh, down the bottom here. This year I'm just going for a plain moustache, it's the normal moustache. Um, I may grow it into a goatee or I may grow it, just start doing the, um, the handlebars, I don't know yet, I haven't decided, I may just shave it. Um, you know, as, as you know, for us guys, growing moustaches and beards in general and stuff like that it becomes really uncomfortable after a while we have to sort of persevere through that pain level it's not really pain I use pain to describe it it's more of a discomfort because you're always itching you go through a stage where you itch a lot and you're always scratching and doing stuff like that um, so yeah so I'm taking part in Movember if you haven't taken part in, Mo in, in Movember head over to the Movember website Movember.com I'll put the link down below Go sign up. You don't have to sign up a team. You can sign up as an individual like I have. I've signed up as an individual. I haven't joined a team. Um, I'm not raising any funds for it. You don't have to. It's optional. Um, I'm just growing to show my support because I've had family members who have passed away from cancer. Um, so it's just my way of, of remembering them and showing my support for cancer and men every year or once a year anyway. Um, yeah, so... Um, also, the other thing I wanted to mention was that I have a surprise unboxing coming up in a couple weeks. Um, the reason why I say a couple weeks is because they haven't shipped out the review samples yet. Um, it's a company in the Netherlands, and this is about as much as I'm going to tell you. It's just a company in the Netherlands. Uh, in the Netherlands, sorry. Uh, they are a fairly new company. Um, they haven't shipped out their review samples yet. They are doing. They will be doing it over the next couple of weeks. Um, I know that I'll be getting an email from them as soon as they've sent my sample uh, sample out. Hopefully I'll get it before Christmas, otherwise it'll probably only be in the new year. But I, I'm pretty confident that I'll get it uh, probably, by, probably by, by Christmas. 
probably by December 25th, 24th, I'm hoping, maybe before the 24th, because postal services and stuff also um, closed down for um, Christmas and the, the holiday season. Not only that, because it's coming from the Netherlands, they have a lot of snow, especially over around Christmas time. So um, I'm hoping they get they manage to send it off or send off all their review samples. Um, before the snow season hits, because once you, they get heavy snow and everything gets grounded and stuff like that. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, surprise unboxing coming up in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, stick around for that. If you're a new subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below so you get the updates in your inbox uh, or on your phone for when I do my unboxing, my surprise unboxing. Um, yeah, at the end of this video, or I'll probably have a permanent link running either at the bottom of the screen or at the top um, for my Scale Candy Ink 2 uh, review that I did yesterday. Um, I've put that video up. The video is live. You can go over there and watch it. The link will be at the bottom of this video. Um, go over and see what I thought about the Ink 2 uh, earbuds. Um, and I think that's about going to do it for this vlog, unless I've forgotten anything. I don't think I have. Um, so stick, oh there is one more thing, I always do this, eh? Psh, you always forget something at the end. Um, I've been looking for sort of like a, a change in, um, in job in, or in my sort of industry, if you don't know, uh, well most of you probably don't know, um, I'm an IT professional, I'm qualified in IT. Um, I recently came across an advert in, the, in our local newspaper here for a job in the States, in the US, for which is based in the aviation industry. Now, so, excuse me guys, a lot of you must be thinking about you go from IT to aviation, it's a, like a, a big uh, jump kind of thing. Um, it is a bit of a, bit of a big jump. Um, I come from a family of, of uh, pilots. Um, I'm probably the first person in my family that hasn't become a pilot because I just can't afford it. It's massively, massively expensive. Um, my my father, my dad was a, a pilot. Uh, my grandfather was a pilot, and my great grandfather was was also a pilot. Um, the only difference is that when they joined the Air Force back then, it, the Air Force paid for their training. They did all their pilot training through the Air Force. Um, fortunately, I missed that that opportunity here. Yeah, Air Force, you can only they only take people up to uh, between 18 and 21. You can't get in after 21. Even if you're 22, you may get in. Um, chances aren't very high, though. You probably stand a better chance of of, of trying to apply and get in as soon as you leave school. Um, I looked at going into into um, various uh, commercial airlines that op that offer pilot training. Um, fortunately, they wanted subjects like uh, maths and physical science on a higher grade um, with an 80% pass. Now, when, when I say a higher grade, it's probably more um, college level maths and college level, or oh, sorry, university level um, maths and university level um, science, physical science. For those of you sitting in, in the US watching this, you're asking what the hell is university? I know, I think you guys refer to uh, our equivalence of university to you guys is um, college, um, so it's about the same thing, college level maths and physical science, which I didn't have, and, you, and they wanted 20-20 vision um, uncorrected, which I don't have. I wear glasses, I, don't, I know I don't wear my glasses in the vlog because I don't like them to be honest. Um, if I go to meetings or presentations or uh, something like that, I wear my glasses, I put them on and I wear them. Um, so yeah, and to do it privately is too expensive. It's I'm looking at about a hundred grand just for my entry level license, um, and then you've still got your your night rating, instrument rating. Then you sort all your conversions from single uh, single propeller plane to a dual propeller uh, plane, um, and then you got from a propeller plane conversion to a turbine plane, like things like your Learjets and your Boeing's are all turbines, turbo turbo turbines, um, stuff like that. It becomes it's just too expensive, and it's, a lot of people think once you become qualified, well, that's it. It's not that easy. Once you become qualified, you have to stay what they call current in the aviation um, industry. You have to keep flying all the time. Um, and unfortunately, if you're not in the position where you can, where you own your own uh, plane, um, 
to rent a plane to do at least an hour once a week is hellishly expensive, very very expensive, especially if you, especially if you've done your conversion from single um, propeller plane to a twin propeller plane. Your rent, your 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 rent for those planes change. Um, they go up, obviously. Um, yeah, so it becomes very expensive at the end of the day. Um, and for somebody to take a, a loan from the bank to pay for something like that, um, that's like taking out a mortgage to buy a house. It, that's literally what it's like. So that was an option. That was definitely no, not an option for me. I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to take out a loan. You go and do it. Um, so. Yeah, so back to what I was initially saying, um, I came across an advert for the cabin crew for a private um, charts company based in Virginia in the US. Um, my only problem is that it, it's, although they've offered me the job, um, they'll shoulder half the cost for uh, my visas and I'll have to pay the other half. The only problem is that my half is about $1,600. Which in my local currency is about uh, sixteen and a half, um, sixteen and a half thousand rand. Uh, think of it as sixteen and a half thousand dollars. I can't afford that. I can't afford to pay that. Um, and this is not a video about charity to donate me money. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that it's it's too expensive for me to to go into. I'm gonna have to turn them down. I'm gonna have to send them an email and say, look, sorry, I can't accept. It's too expensive. Um, it's mainly because the exchange rate is currently very strong the rand dollar exchange rate is very strong sorry should I say the, the dollar rand um, so yeah it's not something that I can go into unfortunately at this point in time um, yeah so I think that's about going to do it for um, today's vlog don't remember stick around for my mystery unboxing coming up in a couple of weeks if you if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button down below in order to get your notifications for when that video goes live for my surprise unboxing um, I will put a link to my skull candy review video um, at the bottom of this video it'll be a permanent link so it'll run throughout the whole video um, yeah so thanks for sticking around thanks for watching um, hit the like button down below rate subscribe share comment you know I'd love to hear what you guys think about my videos if you think I can change something in my videos Please let me know in the comments down below. Um, it's, it's mainly you guys that I rely on you guys telling me if this if I should change something in the video. Um, not to say that I'm not capable of doing that myself. It helps to have a second pair of eyes come and tell me, look, you should change this or do that differently or whatever the case is. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, I will see you in next week's video. And um, yeah, subscribe, rate, like, comment, do all that fun stuff. It definitely helps out. And I will see you next week. Later.